So kids are often involved in activities that help them, quote, build character, right? But my next guest believes that work should happen at home too. Psychologist Dr. Tom Golightly says that character has less to do with knowing right from wrong and more to do with how we interact with others. He joins me to explain. Great to see you, my friend. That's an interesting definition. Can we pause there for a minute? How do you view character? Because I think it might shift people's minds in an open direction. Well, it's kind of an umbrella term. You know, we, we have a few of those uh, in our daily life. If we say frustrated, it could mean a million things. When we say character, we're kind of referring to the ground rules of life that kind of influence how we view things, how we interact, how we think, how we behave, and it sets those ground rules for moral and ethical decision making. And so it's really important that we that we have a set of, of, of ground rules like character uh -huh. so that we can bridge that gap between meeting our own needs, the needs of others, and maybe even the needs of society, the collective, uh, a group that we're, that we're participating in. And those are really, really important components uh, uh, to, to what we understand as the term of character. So that leads to good character as you talk about filling needs and, and meeting people's meeting people's hearts really where they yeah. are. Yeah, strong character is we're congruent to what we feel is important, but those things that we feel are important also meet the needs of others, yes. right? And yes. so th that pro-social behavior is some of what we're getting at when we talk about character. You're turning our attention to three specific things we can do to not only strengthen our core and build our own core character, but also teach our children this important principle as well. First, you say we've got to demonstrate it, which is no surprise. There's always that look in the mirror moment <laughs> as a parent, right? If I want to if I want to raise good character, I've got to be good character. And our kids are going to do what we do way more than what we say. And so are we giving them opportunities for them to see us express character? And, uh, you know, when we need to be, uh, to have some integrity, when we need to be honest, when someone it maybe offends us. Are we forgiving? Are we talking bad about people behind their backs? We can have good character as we show it and encourage that for others. And that's a really, really important component. I'll never forget my mom uh, was given too much change once. I, I was little, very little. I think it was a TGNY. That's a throwback, right? <laughs> and she went back in and gave the extra change back. And, and I've, I've never forgotten that, right? And being able to see my mom at a young age ex exhibit that character was really yeah. impactful for me. And my guess is she didn't have to make a huge fanfare over it, no, right? She didn't no. have to like draw this huge attention or turn it into this big family lecture or lesson, no. but just her actions spoke loudly to yeah, you. No words, I just saw it happen yeah. and, and I've, it's always stuck with it, me. Yeah. When we talk about you know character, if it's the standard or if it's the bar, you say our personal strength can actually help get us there. So a lot of times, when we're struggling, we sometimes think, okay, this is a good place where I can grow and what do I need to build here? And yes, we do need to build new skills, but how do we find footing when we are feeling a little offended, when we are struggling to exhibit character? Knowing what we do well is a good place to start and we can find out what we do well. There are a lot of different measures to find our strengths, but one I found really helpful is AuthenticHappiness.org. I've heard this referenced several times over the years. Dr. Matt Townsend is a big fan of it as well. Why do you like this website? Well, this website you can find out a lot of, of what's going well in life. It's to help you flourish. So it's not what's going wrong, uh -huh. like psychology often looks for. <laughs> it's what, are, what do we need to do to make our lives a little bit better? How do I live my yeah. best life? And in this way, this via character strengths, there's also a children's version, the, the via children's strengths. Uh, you can kind of find four or five things that will really be what you do well. And, and when things are tough, like, can I incorporate this? And when I look at my own, uh, results mm -hmm. and and the top five for me I, I, these might not be in, a, in the exact it. order okay humor and playfulness Doesn't number one I know I was gonna yes. say that, Check. that fits um, social intelligence mm -hmm. also kind of there kindness forgiveness and self-control mm. and so when things are going a little sideways if I can find a playful way to engage others and help bring them in mm -hmm. and and be pro-social in some of those things and be kind I'm, I'm probably going to be using what I do best mm -hmm. to build on what I can do differently. What an and awesome that's tool, though, and it is that. You've got those tools or those character strengths laid out in front of you, so a problem hits you in the face, and you can say, what am I going to pick up 
to help push back against this problem. And as a parent, I mean, we know our children inside and out, but how amazing in moments of hardship or heartache, even as you're watching them learn and grow, to be able to say, I know this is your top character strength and how are we gonna use that to move forward? Exactly. That's powerful. It's brilliant parenting to be able to kind of say, hey, hey, remember when we did this? Yeah. And here we are faced with this problem. This is a really good opportunity for you to exercise one of your strengths, right? And especially in an adolescence as interpersonal stuff gets tough. Right. You know, let's, let's go with what we do well. We talk about character and as it you know should align or we want it to align with our core beliefs like who we are at the core mm -hmm. and you believe it's important to identify that like what are my core beliefs and yes. how can I form that alignment? Well uh, research is indicating there's three really strong core beliefs that, that match with with strong character and, and, and just believing that the world is good. The first one is that the world is a safe place mm -hmm. that there are more good people than there are people that are trying to get you mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. that it's a vibrant world that it has meaning and variety and beauty mm. and that 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 variety isn't always good but that's part of what makes life worth living mm -hmm. is all of the ups and downs mm -hmm. and then that it, there's a valued world that everyone has value in it and we can all get our needs met and if we can approach and, and foster those core beliefs in our children the world will be a little safer kinder place I think for everyone and, and one in which we can demonstrate character uh, uh, pretty easily and think about the magic or the power behind the words you just said the word is by the world is vibrant right mm -hmm. the world is safe like being able to promote those on the daily in our parenting will create that core that we want our children to ultimately have it can and it, it, it takes effort and intentionality at sure. times right because there we do get pulled and I feel that pull you know cynicism and skepticism very real but if we can ground ourselves in those three core beliefs and really promote those in our family and, and, and live them in our own family cultures we're really going to be doing a, a service to the future generations. I love that well said Tom and a good reminder as parents to be intentional and thoughtful character doesn't just happen is what I'm hearing you say. Yes. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. very much. You. We will post a link to this conversation on our website, studio5.ksl.com. You can go there to access past conversations and the ones you saw just today on the show. You can use the search engine in the upper right-hand corner of your screen to search topics by topic name or also by presenter name as well. We hope it's a bookmarked resource that helps you out on the daily.